Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I want to talk about Dungeons & Dragons, and I want to talk about friendship, and I want to talk about the value of ending a friendship. All right, let's get into this. All right, so the reason we're going to talk about, why are we going to talk about D&D and friendship? What's, what's that, why is it important, right? Well, right now, um, Dungeons & Dragons is massively understood. I, I, I actually think that Dungeons & Dragons is the most valuable secular thing on the planet, um, and it is also the most under misunderstood thing on the planet. I don't. I think, I think you could count the number of people on one hand who actually understand what Dungeons and Dragons is today. So right now, what do people think it is? Well, they think it's something fun that you do with your friends. I think both of these are wrong. So one, you already know. I I, I don't think the goal of Dungeons and Dragons is to have fun. In fact, I think that all, you know, the most useless, worthless, um, the worst tables uh, dedicate their games to fun. It's just, it's just not, uh, it's not, it's not something to pursue. Okay. Let's talk about friendship. Okay. Dungeons and Dragons. Where is Dungeons and Dragons now? The vast majority of the world thinks it's something fun that you do with your friends. To me, where should Dungeons and Dragons be? It should be where the NFL is today. The NFL is dedicated to making sure that American gridiron football is executed at the absolute pinnacle level and it is displayed to the world in the format it should be. And it, it garners the accolades, the glory, the money, everything that should come with executing the thing you care about at a level that is so near perfection that um, sacrifice is made for it and the glory is given based on what has been accomplished, right? And, and glory, I'm, I'm going to say, you know, I'll, I'll call glory, right? It's the shine, the attention, the money, right? It's, it's, every, it's all the good that comes when you execute right. Right, and to me, and here's the thing: <laughs> NFL ain't about fun. It's about executing American gridiron foot. In my humble opinion, the NFL is about committing, is about executing American gridiron football at a level so near perfection it shocks the world, and then everyone involved garners the glory of that. Okay, that's what the NFL is, in my humble opinion, and that's when D and D reaches that level where it is 10% more successful than the NFL ever was, that's when I will say Dungeons and Dragons is where it should be, okay? All right, now, the NFL, friendship ain't a part of it. That's, that's the issue. Not at the owner level, not at the manager level, not at the coach level, not at the player level. Friendship ain't about it, right? Um, it's, just, it's just the reality of it, right? And the reality, because if you dedicate yourself to executing something, at a level that is so near perfection that you will forever uh, garner the glory uh, of world-class execution, then friendship can't be a part of it, right? And you know, and I'm running into problems with this at my table because I genuinely have elevated friendship over D and D execution at times, and I think I'm paying the price for that. So I recently ended an eight-year friendship. Right? I said this friendship is over, right? And it was over D and D. So, uh, so, and the reason, and what happened was, I could see there was tension between me and this friend, and um, and basically it got to the point where uh, we came to the end of a story arc, and he and he was one of my the dungeon masters who runs at my table, and he said to everybody, he said, "Hey, um, this is my last game, and I'm starting. Uh, this is my last game here at this D and D five E table, and I'm starting a D and D five E table, and." Uh, that'll be running soon, right? And I was just like, what? You know, like, and everybody else is, uh, there was like this silence that hit the table. And he's like, thanks so much, Scott. And he extended his hand. I put my hand up, so I did not shake his hand. I said, enjoy your game. Enjoy your game. And he, and I was, and, and, and then he's like, hey, Scott, it's, we could still do stuff. It's okay. You know, we could do other things in D&D. And I said, no, no, we cannot. <laughs> We're done. You and me are done. This is finished. And it is. It's finished. That guy is out of my life at this point. And the reason why is he had every right to quit my game. Right? He he had no right to say, hey, all you people at this table, you know, there's tension at this table. There's problems at this game. Why don't you come to my game? That's what ended the friendship. Right? And that's, that's a bridge too far. I will never talk to that guy again. Ever. It's finished. Right? And this is going to be a problem because he circled in on a lot of my other friendships, right? And there's gonna be a reckoning, right? Oh, hey, are you doing this thing with X person? 
that's great. Go have fun. I'll see you later. Oh, we haven't gotten together for three or six months because you're still aligned to that friend that I've cut out? <laughs> yeah, like, it's now, okay, so what is the benefit of ending a friendship, right? Like, is it, like, people, like, and here's the thing. I, I, this is already happening. I've already seen this before. A lot of people don't end friendships. They let it drift, right? And they're like, are we still friends? And neither one of you really know, right? That is, the vast majority of the world does that, right? But the reason why I suggest you do end friendships is what is the value of your friendship, right? If you're my friend, you're gonna come over and spend time at my house frequently, right? Like, right? Now, I do have friends where we've, we've reached a point uh, where proximity, proximity can pull you apart. If you're no longer in proximity, it's a different issue, right? But here's the issue. And you can have dormant friendships based on you were separated by proximity. That's a very real thing. But if you're still around each other, right? And you reach, and here's why I, it is, I'm telling you as a dungeon master, because you're gonna have friends at the table, when you get to the point where there's tension in a friendship, end it right? Actually, where the tension has reached a point where it's uncomfortable for everyone on both sides and the friendship. And the reason why, right, is friendship is a commitment. And to me, if I'm your friend, you're going you're gonna to be welcome in my home. I'm going to put my family in front of you, right? I'm going to put up with your, pro with your problems. When, you're, when you have a problem, you know you can call me. And I'm either going to do exactly what you asked or as close as I possibly can to what you asked, right? And I am in your corner, right? If I ain't your friend, I ain't in the stadium where you're fighting, right? If I'm your friend, I'm in your corner and I'm going to help like, you know, uh, patch up your bl the blows the world is giving you. But if we ain't friends, I want that time. I want that energy, right? And so in my opinion, uh, the vast majority of the world lets friendships wither and desiccate don't do it right be an active robust friend and when the point re and when you reach a point with that person because you're an intense adamant person and the other person's an intense adamant person where the tension is so high it's not comfortable on either end end the friendship get your time back get your en energy back get your world back right and that's where I am right now and I think that's the right way to go. I really do. However, that is all my opinion. I'm eager to hear yours. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking and subscribing. And have a wonderful millennium.